Luis Carrion here, bringing awesome new magic for anyone looking for audience-tested tricks. I do this material for private gigs, and when I'm performing at the Chicago Magic Lounge, you will find these are actually effects that you can do at any moment, anywhere, anytime, that don't require complicated setups, and I am definitely not holding anything back. I start things off with La Rosa del Amor. This is the opening act that I have used for over 10 years. Coins appear and disappear and ends with an unexpected bottle production. Hermanito is a super quick and clean presentation for Brother John Hammond's sign card effect. A card gets placed on the table, two jacks get placed to the side, a card gets selected, sign, lost into the deck, the stake that reshuffles the deck. You, the magician, try to find the card, but you can't, so guess what? Good thing you have a backup, because on the table the whole entire time was the sign card. Mr. Ranko is a macho man. From a shuffle deck, you make three predictions. Uh, you start getting cards to the table face up, the spectator stays stop in three random spots. Those cards get placed on top of the ones that were already placed there before, and then you turn them over to show that they have found their mates. This is a trick that can be done from a shuffle deck, and you will also learn a very cool technique by Gene Steranko. If I could, an everywhere and over effect where the full deck changes to a named card. The great thing about this effect is that it can be done from a shuffle deck, any named card. You combine some really cool slides to give the artist an experience that they will remember. Blindfolded linking rings. That's right, blindfolded linking rings. Uh, a fast paced three ring routine. Laymen love this routine, but magicians love it even more. Lane four aces, a quick ace production where a four of clubs gets split into the four aces. And Juno Deep Paces is my personal handling of the elevator cards. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, this is my personal handling of Roy Walton's collectors. Uh, the cards get placed in the box in your pocket. Three cards get selected. The card box gets waved over the deck and the cards instantly are in between the aces. This is a perfect routine for walk around and the best part, no table required. My metal bending routine is the eight minute metal bending act that I have taken what is normally a quick and often rushed effect into a full evening act uh, one of the first things I actually created for stand-up. Learned some of my own original bands and thinking behind this uh, act that I have been uh, performing for over 12 years. The CML coin routine, this routine has been tested in every scenario possible. Coin flurries, coins to the table, coins across. It's a worker and I think you will enjoy. Mulita. If you're a fan of Roy Walton's Smiley Mule, then this is a trick for you. Two queens go get lost in the, in the middle of the deck. You have a spectator name any card. The deck appears in between the two queens. Of course, it's a joke. How amazing is that? <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Lewis. No, seriously, Dan, what was the guy you were thinking of? I was thinking of the three of hearts. Then the queens travel to the top of the deck. They go back down, they come back to the top. But in between them now, it is the main card in the deck. To bring it back, all we have to do is just keep an eye right there. A little wave. And they actually have returned with one card in the middle. Could it be? But that is a three hearts, that would be crazy. Return of the Slop Shuffle Monster. Imagine how much magic you can get from a Slop Shuffle. A lovely opener or the perfect closer for your card act. And this is the part that's gonna keep you awake. Is that after we shuffle those cards face up and face down, and then they all turn back facing one way, and then we found the aces, and then we found the kings. The question is, how do we manage to separate all of the black cards from the red cards? That's something that has never really happened in the history of magic. Uh, mini rising cards. A rising card effect with a mini deck where everything can be examined before and after. Workers are going to love the fact that you are completely reset for your next table. I told you I wasn't holding back. 13 of the effects that I used to get booked and rebooked professionally. My name is Luis Carrion and this is my Penguin Life.